Hello, welcome to video number six, data cleaning. In this video, I'm going to talk on removing duplicates, text to column, subtotal and grouping, and data validation. So let's go. Here I've got a list of pizzas, and obviously, as you can see, there are many repeated entries. Let's take this for example. If I do conditional formatting, I can highlight all the duplicate values. As you can see, I have Mitsa repeated twice, no, thrice, and Extravaganza repeated twice. So how do I remove duplicate entries, leaving only just unique entries? Okay, I'll select all the table, data. I'll go to data. I'll click on remove duplicates. Then I'll confirm. So you see, three duplicates have been removed. I have only unique entries. Even the conditional formatting has gone because there are no more duplicate entries here. So how do I do for this long list of data? 5,000 entries. It's just the same procedure. I go to remove duplicates and I click on OK. As you can see, I have only 16 unique entries. So that's how you remove duplicates. If you have a list of, say, employee data, or you have a list you've gotten from different sources, and you are sure there are so many entries that will be duplicated, this is the best way of removing duplicates. So let's go to text to column. Here I have a table of first name and last name. And if you remember in our video on data table that can scale, I said it's best to have this split into two different columns. You know, have first name separate and last name separate. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do that to this table. You go to text to column. Here I'm simply going to go with the delimited option and click on next. Then I'll say my fields are separated by space. You will notice it has separated them. So I click on next and finish. As you can see, I have two different fields now, first name and last name separate. I'll give it same formatting. And so that's how you separate one column into several columns. So let's go to subtotal. Here I have a list of car sales by different companies. I have the car make by country, France, Germany, India. And I also have the car brands. And then the different, three different auto dealerships. So how do I group this data to make it more meaningful to view? I select the entire data table. I'll go to data, then I'll click on subtotal. I click on OK. And as you can see, my data has been grouped. I have France separately, and I have the total for France. So car mix that are from France, these are their total by different auto dealerships. And also have, if you scroll down, you see the grand total. This is the total sales across all the three dealerships. The main advantage of grouping is you can collapse the data. You can decide I want to see just the total across the dealerships. Or I can decide I want to see across countries, France, Germany, India, Italy, Japan, or I want to see everything. So this is the advantage of grouping data. And finally, let's go to data validation. Here I have a table of employees' data. Let me give it a border. And now I want one of our new interns in HR to fill this. But I don't want her to make any mistake in filling it. And I know our employee ID is between 1 million and 2 million. All numbers. So. Here 
if per adventure she tries to type in something that is going to be outside of those range like an alphabet and a mixture of number yeah you can see she will not be allowed to do that she will get an error notification until she enters the right number range so how did i make that possible it's through data validation let's do that for this because i haven't done that for these let's do that for the remaining four rows you go to data you go to data validation you click on data validation and here you select you want whole number and you give the range 1 million and 2 million as the maximum click on ok I can do to do for the others I simply copy and paste so I have done for all these I've entered more than the required range And also for departments, we have just fixed departments. I don't want her to type in another department. So I have a range of department that I want her to pick from. I have HR, finance, IT, operations, and marketing. But I haven't done that for this. So how do you fix the options of entries in a particular cell to a particular list? And that's what we are going to do. We go once again to data validation data validation this time around i'll click on lists and for source i'm going to select my list of departments then i'll click on ok that's how you do it i can easily repeat this for the next three rows by copying and pasting And that is it for this video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our blog. Thank you.